Hello everybody, welcome back to a Monster Hobbies video. My name is Trevor Oslescu, I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies. And who are you? Hello, I am Rosie. And this is? Day. <laughs> and you can watch Rosie's channel, she's Super Bear. <laughs> and I'll leave the link below in the description. So today we've got a special project. We're going to be building a building from one of these old village on the cheap um, discs. <laughs> 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 no, these are not movies. These are actual buildings, Me. and they are on a computer disc. So you go in there and you find a building you like, and you print it out, and then you build it using cardboard. Isn't that cool, Ooh. girls? <laughs> so we're gonna pick one out and like Ooh, yeah, we're gonna go out and print one off and then start building. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna load the computer up with this paper. This is thicker cardstock. And I'm just going to put that in our computer tray. Ah! Hey, help! How do you do that? So now we'll just put our disc into the computer and the girls can pick out a building. Yep. We are now printing the images we have chosen. One. <laughs> um, three houses so we can build our own houses. But it's the same house. Yes. Because we need to protect the villagers. Yes. Well, I don't want this person. I just want it for decor. I don't know. We have three of the same pictures. And there's animals. Ow. <laughs> Is there dogs? Because that would be nice like to have a dog. Do you have a dog? Yeah, like in the house. No, I have to see. Okay, now let's print it. You're now printing um, the villagers, and then we'll be printing off the animals so that we could have like a, a dog and like animals around the house, like cows, <laughs> sheep, and goats. And donkeys and the yeah, and just and horses and the awesome uh, animals. And yes. Okay, here they come. So these guys are included on the disc, but I'm printing these on the regular paper instead of the cardstock. Because cardstock is valuable. <laughs> valuable. Okay, so the girls chose this house, which is a small house. But there's something that I want to add to these to strengthen the bottom part of the wall when we go to cut these out. So I'm going to use this uh, 45 degree pro protractor from your geometry set down on the bottom here. Just going to make a line with the pencil. Let's see. Yeah. Here and here. And then turn this in the other direction. Come out here. And here. And then draw a line across here. Connect that for that. Down. I'll do the same up here. And then when we cut this out, we can fold this over underneath, and this little piece will act as a foot and also reinforce along the bottom edge so that your house doesn't cave in like that. So now let's get these kids cutting the stuff up. Okay, so Rosie, what do you want to do for your house? Um, so I'm just gonna make. I'm gonna cut out my house, and then it'll be like an ordinary house. And then what I'm thinking on is just adding like a horse, one cow, one goat, and two sheep, maybe a donkey and a wolf. I'll act the wolf as my as a dog, and then I'll have um, a mom and a dad, and then I might have two kids. Um, and I think that's all. Okay, Dave, tell us what you want to do. So my house is just going to be an ordinary house, maybe just like a decoration, and uh, there's an outhouse. 
<laughs> That's disgusting. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> so, are you gonna use any people day? No. I'm just gonna like avoid the people and the animals. Is it gonna be like a house for sale? No. It's gonna be a decoration. I just told you that. And so, <laughs> it's true, I did. So, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna have any animals or people. It's just gonna be a house. That's it. So the tools you'll need for the village on the cheap are pretty simple. You need a hobby knife. You can also use scissors. You'll need some white glue. And I'm going to use this protractor again. It's a clear ruler, so when you need to cut, you can see through it to know where your cuts are going to be. Now when you have the knife and you want to cut this out, there's actually two two techniques we need to keep in mind here. The first is cutting straight through. So I'll just do one cut here, because I know the girls will want to do theirs. So you're going to push as hard as you can and cut until it cuts through the back of the paper. And then the other method is called scoring. This is where you want to cut the paper a little bit, but not cut through. And this is to help you with your folds. So for example, along this line, this little gray line here that overhangs, that's to let you know to score. So I'm lightly going along that with the knife without cutting through. Now you can feel it here, a little groove. And if you turn it over, you notice we haven't cut through, but you can see that groove on the other side of the page. So those are the two techniques we want to know for right now with these little houses. Okay, Day, show us how to use the scissors to score the lines. Okay, so you put your uh, ruler where that gray line is, and then you open up your scissors, go right there, and um, yeah. So then you make a little Point. Make sure you're lining it up okay. Yeah, I am. And don't go right through the paper. Um, we'll try not to. Um, so then you go at the opposite side and you press not too hard across and again. Uh, yeah. Then you should feel like a little bit of a like cut. Yeah. Or line. And then it's gonna be easier to fold it. Okay, so Rosie's cut out some stuff. I see. Um. So when Dave was talking about how to score with scissors, um, I started cutting out the part that we scored. Because the other part was just the stuff that we didn't score yet. Okay. So now we're going to cut. So how you're going to cut is you're going to cut like on the lines here. You don't want to cut up here or like cut off the little parts because you need that to fold the pieces of paper in so that they'll glue in and it'll hold together. So let's begin. If you want, you can cut off some of the excess pieces so it'll be easier and there won't be lots of big pieces of paper for when you actually start cutting. So we'll just cut like this. And once you're done cutting the pieces out, you'll glue together this stuff. And then the stuff that you scored, it kind of bends so that it will help you make the thing, the structure, or uh, in this case, the house that we're building. 
All right, so here are the three pieces of the house. And I want to show you guys something about scoring, the score lines. So if you did this right, you should be able to fold it. But if you notice when you fold, you don't get a good 90 degrees in here. You get sort of a kind of a curve. So what you can do is bend the house right over and take your ruler very carefully, put your thumb against there and then rub it down till you click off the edge. And now you will get a nice crisp 90 degree type fold right there. So I want to show you the significance of the bottom tab here and what it actually does. So when we fold this up, we get a nice little house like this, of course, right? Now, if you don't do that tab at the bottom, your wall will sag down along the bottom edge here, like that curve there. This side not so bad, but it's really flimsy at the bottom. So by folding these over, you actually make it quite rigid along the bottom because of course this acts as extra strength along that edge. So that's why we do that fold at the bottom. Plus this allows you to glue it to a base, like a wooden base or a piece of cardboard or something. And uh, yeah, there you go. After a long time cutting out the house and folding the house and cutting out all of my videos. And the bathroom. Villagers. Villagers. So we're going to glue together the outhouse. Yes, and how you glue these is like the... It's basically the same for the people too. So you, you can make it into a triangle and then you glue it down like this. If you want, you can put the word like the, the name of the animal or the person or you can just cover it like that. Okay, let's do the outhouse before I have to go. <laughs> Dad, that's disgusting. And then here's the roof of the outhouse. Okay. Okay, so I got this piece of cardboard here so the girls don't put glue on the table. Which glue on the table. There's a problem with this glue that it doesn't come out the top of this thing, so I'm just going to take it off like this. Do you have to use a toothpick? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no. I can do it for you. No, I want to do it. Can I do it? Please. Okay, wait. Not all of it. Stop. Ah. Ah, too much, too much, too much. Okay. That's better. <laughs> So we'll use what? the edge of the hobby knife. What? what? Daddy! You're ruining your fabulous hobby knife. Okay, so you put glue where it has the letter G. 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 Uh, <laughs> and then you simply fold it. Too many dumps. I should have done that in the first place. <laughs> what? Huh? Zoom the camera in. Mm. Oh yeah. Help me. Oh, gosh. So make sure you got that square to that edge. I don't have a bottom. <laughs> then how do you sit down? No, I mean... <laughs> I mean... Okay, now we're just going to glue the roof on the outhouse. What? <laughs> Tell us how you do. What? You get this much. <laughs> so you Daddy, get... how many seconds do you have to hold this for? A lot. Um, probably about 10 to 15. You didn't cut it the seconds. Seconds. Okay. Seconds? seconds? So, you Did get maybe it? about this much glue and then on the G parts here, you can put it around of the roof, the edge of the roofs. So you can put this part and the weave and then if your thumb or finger is small enough it can probably fit in the bottom of the outhouse without wrecking your base and just like that. You <laughs> can't see it. Like this. Move your hand down. Like this. <laughs> the other way. Like, like that. <laughs> okay. Like this. All right. Now you see. Okay, so Dave's going to show us how to build the house, and this time we're also going to add in some scotch tape. Why not glue? 
Why? Oh, we're doing both. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. So, you want to grab the front of the house with the windows. Not the back. The back has no windows. As you can see. Um, <laughs> so, you put the glue on this part by the window. And... One second. second. Oh, I see how it goes now. See, that's very see. annoying. So you put glue there. Then you grab the other part of the house and you put it right there. Okay, now and turn, then, turn it over for a second. Wait, I need to wait till it dries down. Turn it over. What? What? I'll show you with the tape. So, what? So you got that edge lined up on the outside, okay? Yeah. Oh, I get it now. We're gonna add a little tape here just to hold it while we're secure. Wait, will we do that with the outhouse? Well, the glue's setting. Okay. Okay. I think you gotta move this up a little, actually. No. Do I have to use glue? Can I just tape it together? <laughs> well, the tape will eventually fall apart. Yep, but the, then the glue is settled and the glue will hold it together. I should oh. make a pound next to the and, and then you repeat that step on the other side. <laughs> and then when you've done that, what do you do with all the flaps? The flaps on the, the, the top there. Okay, one second. I need to um, do this. Make sure you got it aligned really well. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. Um, it is still wet and. It's okay, you can still move with it. Yeah, and okay. um, now Just we're going to attach the roof. Let's so with these flaps right here, I have to point to all of them. Um, <laughs> yes, what do the flaps do? Okay. You grab the glue, you put the glue on the G, of course. And make sure those flaps are up a bit more. Because you want your roof to be like this, not like that. Dressy! <laughs> You want it to have a nice curve, so when the rain falls down, it goes off the roof, not stays on the roof if it's a flat roof. Rosie, it will evaporate anyway, so... Um. But what happens if it's winter time? Yeah, it turns into ice. It turns into ice. But it doesn't rain in the winter time. Let they explain. It snows in the winter time. <laughs> the people want to hear they explaining. Okay. <laughs> Concentration. <laughs> Concentration. Okay, then you... You got it all the way around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you put your hand underneath. And then you... So that fold goes into the center of the peak of the roof, right there. What? Like this? Yeah. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> you were doing it right. Concentration. <laughs> Concentration. Ah. We are currently experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> Dad, can you help me? Watch YouTube videos because this video is going to be Rosie. Okay, so where is this? I am fail. <laughs> no, I <I'm> know. <laughs> Okay, so we're just, you have to move the building around a little bit too to square it up. Yeah, which I technically do. Make sure these flaps on the inside are touching the top of the roof. Make sure your kids are watching while you're doing this. Yes. <laughs> Rosie, you should be watching. You are not watching. I'm going to go get my pop. Wait, 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 wait.
<laughs> Why? Now explain how I did that. No, anyway. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. So there is the house. Yes. This is the front of your house. It should be like this. Um, it should be on the exact same side of the line. <laughs> this okay, is the back so door. Right now we'll get Rosie to do something. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now Rosie's going to show us how to put the walls together. Yes. yes. Okay, so we could start with the big ones first. We have four walls. Okay, so it's kind of hard to, so there are only like two full flaps of glue, so you gotta put the, flap, the glue on the flaps here. Yeah. <laughs> Random <laughs> Very <pop> little, <laughs> very little bits of glue. Day. <laughs> Random house popping. Okay, day. <laughs> And then you gotta put glue there, and then stop day. Sorry, it's funny. And then you gotta put the pieces of glue here like this, and then kind of push it in right there, <laughs> and you get away. Sorry. And then you basically do that with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm now going to be gluing my people and my animals. So I'm going to be doing one animal and one person. So, you should fold it like this and it acts like a little triangle right there. Can you see? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then there will be a white tab here. And then you put some glue on it. And then you put the name of the of the like animal or person it is and then you can just hide it and then either you can put scissors on it or something heavy on it so it will form to hold together and then you do the same thing exactly the same thing for the people so Example, on the people there will be like numbers and letters or something. You can cover that if you want. Or you can just cover the names of the people and just give them new names like I've already done. Like this. And yes, that's how you do it. All right, so I got my house here, and these walls are optional where you want to put them. So I'm going to put some glue on here. And then stick this wall here. Try to hold them down. And put the outhouse there. So just put a little blue across here. Glue that to there, put some pressure on it. I'm going to carefully turn the house this way. Glue this wall here. Trying to work fast because the camera battery is dying. Glue there. Oops. And then this one's going to glue right there. Use 
need a little weight on this thing. Well, girls, did you enjoy building that house? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And would you do it again? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I said different ones. Different ones, yeah. So we got a bunch more houses on those discs, and I think these two want to build some more on their channels. Yeah. So make sure you check out Super Bear's channel, and you need a channel, <laughs> and that'll be fun. And uh, if you like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Click that notification button so every time we make a video, you're the first to see it. And let's get this thing up to 100 likes, because the girls would like that. Let's do 100 likes each. So 300 likes on this video would be awesome. And don't forget to follow us on Patreon, where you can make a small donation and help us to make more of these great videos. So until next time, wave, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>